Morning guys. Um, so I need to apologise for having not filmed in an absolute age. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, probably because I've just been busy and forgotten to film things and I don't know. I've, I've forgotten to film. <laughs> but I'm going to make up for it today. I'm going to make up for it today. It's Saturday so it's park run day. Uh, oh I sound a bit bunged up. I don't know why that is. I'll uh, have to uh, inhale something in a minute large whiff of Vicks or something, that'll uh, clear that out. <laughs> uh, off to Parkrun, and uh, then we'll see what happens later on. Really good morning at Park Run. Uh, 60 runners, so that was good. Uh, quite windy though. Um, yeah, although not cold wind, which is always good. Um, don't like, don't like them. It's cold. Uh, I've come to the garden centre now because um, we've run out of. No, we're not run out. We've got a problem with foxes, so I've come to try and get something that we can use to get rid of them, or at least stop them digging up the garden, because they're kind of making a mess of everything. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can get. So that was irritating. They didn't have the one I wanted, so um, we've gotta go and try somewhere else. So I'm just trying to think where else might sell fox repellent in Thanet. Hmm. Not the garden centre, so where else? I'll find somewhere. Right, attempt number two home base this time. Let's see what we can get. No, they haven't got either. <laughs> if anyone knows of a good way of getting rid of foxes and stopping them coming in your garden, comment below because um, they're really beginning to tick me off and uh, I want shot of them. Um, but it's pointless killing them because we'll only get replaced with other foxes or yeah, well, they'll just they'll just be replaced by another fox. So we need a way of stopping them coming into the garden. Um, comment below if you've got a good fox deterrent idea, because um, I can't seem to buy anything. Um, mm. So I might not have uh, been able to get the fox stuff, but uh, did manage to uh, get out and cut the grass, so um, that was good. Um, I need to now take that off. I went to give blood yesterday, <laughs> I've, st I've still got the plaster on. I have no idea why I'm still wearing it, almost a whole day later. I could have taken it off this morning. I think I just didn't get around to taking it off earlier. Um, so that's gonna be fun, trying to get that off. I'm told if you use Vaseline, that it softens the glue. So um, we'll give that a try. Okay, so uh, yes, that does work. <laughs> if, you, if you use Vaseline, it does soften the glue on a very sticky plaster and uh, pulls it off without it ripping all the hairs out of your skin. So that is a good tip, I think. There we are, we have a life hack there. Um, Vaseline softens glue on plasters. Rock on. I feel like this has been a really talky video today. Um, I've done quite a bit, and I think I feel most of it, but there's been lots of talk, 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 talk at the camera. Uh, I think trying to make up for not making a video. Um, so I apologize if it's been really talky. Um, but uh, tomorrow's will be better because uh, I'm going to London and there'll be lots to film, so um, it won't be quite so talky, hopefully. We'll see. Um, if you like the talking stuff, let me know. 
Um, I, I don't like the talky stuff, so tomorrow, tomorrow will be better, I'm sure. Um, but uh, yeah, good day tomorrow, I'm off to London, so um, I wake up really early, earlier than I normally get up for work, uh, so um, I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye!